What's up everybody? This is Dizzy Diz right here. Welcome to my channel. This is my first game review and I did it on Rufus Young Youngblood. The game came out last two weeks and there's a lot of mixed reviews from many game critics. I tried to play the game and tried it out myself. So here's my review on Rufus Young Youngblood. Short story on Rufus Young Youngblood. You can control either jazz or soft and they are both uh william joseph bj blaskovich you know that name well and in this game both of them try to find their father after he gone for a long time and in the meantime they join the resistance in france and take over and try to stop the nazi forces from spreading around the france if you follow the Wolfenstein, uh, Old Blood, New Colossus, you might find out that BJ Blazkowicz is the one badass dude and this time around you got control either one of the daughters. So that makes it like twice the badass? You think? Well, we're gonna jump up to the gameplay after this. Here comes the gameplay. For me, this gameplay is quite nice. It's like it still feels like Wolfenstein when you're shooting the gun, and you can still use dual gun, but not as bad as that's which dual gun, of course. As you can see, there's a half bar on top of the you're enemies, and you can see the level number on top left of the enemies. Ouch, I got blown away by the barrel. And yes, you have level up ability points to spend and upgrade your guns. So basically, this is just another like it's focused more on co op gameplay yeah. than actual storyline game mode like Wolfenstein before this but for me it's, it's it's quite nice some people say you would spend a lot of a lot of uh microtransaction and stuff in this game i don't think so you don't need to if you don't want to but you can spend too if you want to you know what i mean as you can see it's a bit struggle to kill like this big guy right here with my low tier weapon I didn't upgrade anything yet. I didn't spend the ability yet. It takes it takes a lot of bullets to kill one enemy, to kill one big guy. Because of their level is much a bit higher than me. You know? Well in this game, in this gameplay I play alone and the other one the other one is AI so uh, sometimes I have to do it myself but the AI in this game is not that bad either they do the job not like some others game AI which is the shooting always miss that's like stormtrooper right this is my favorite gun ever the Gatling laser gun I don't quite remember what it called so I'm gonna call it that yeah, this Panzer Hound right here is much higher level than me. If you see that skull level up there, you better run if you ain't got the nice weapon to kill him. Luckily, I have this Gatling laser gun. Just like any other game. Yep, I play Assassin's Creed Origins and Odyssey before. I'm just gonna run away when I'm seeing the higher level enemies in front of me man I don't want to mess with them but in this case I got that Gatling laser gun so I'm good with it for this in this game the map is quite big it's like you can explore and you can explore anywhere you know you can go many ways to reach your objective so like you can see right here you can climb on top of here 
and then I climb on top of the roof see you can explore anywhere in this game it's not like Wolfenstein before this which is I'm not saying it's kind of linear but much more place to explore than Wolfenstein before this and this time I want to focus on the graphics itself you know the graphics is just nice it's like new colors and a most Bethesda game other than Evil Within Wolfenstein for me Wolfenstein still get the best graphic amongst them all the details and I'm playing it at 60 FPS I don't know can you see 60 FPS in this game with all the mess around all the explosion all the gun shooting all the particles going on still the game's running smooth on my PS4 Pro I'm playing it on PS4 by the way the details on the gun man it's all nice Graphics nice for me. Well, with all the bullets and particles, still wants with me though. Despite the graphics and the, the, the gameplay so far, that's a lot of less glitch. I think there's a bit glitch later on and it evolved the sound glitch <laughs> look at them well now this is what i call fun <laughs> in this game there's a call system that calls share life which is uh, you're gonna you can you can revive on your own when you fell down like right here right now my partner is hurt and I get to revive her but somehow I can manage to get to her if that bar fill up then one of the share life will be used but right now I managed to revive her and the share life will not be used you can you can max it out up to three share life and as long as it's not used it will be there forever until you use it once you can find the bug share life back in the hub or anywhere somewhere else inside the map itself in this game you can there's there is a skill which is when you use it you will add on another 25 armor either you use uh, soft or jazz can use it either every time the bar fill up like here this one yeah when it do that when she do that you get 25 armor so here's the upgrade menu for the characters and here's one is mind they have mind muscles and power muscles is mostly contribute to uh, armor which is uh, upgrade to your armor much more armor limit up to caps to 200 and mine is like more to the your health upgrade your health your revive how much your partner get the health after you revive them and evasive skills is much more onto mine and power of course you get spent for like you use the ability to stealth or running through the enemies and to pinch them down and here's the menu upgrade for your weapons and you can choose any kind of weapons that you own and upgrade them like this one here blitz gear is like a smg in this game so you can change the red dot side or uh, extended magazine so a set like steel will steel set as you can see on the right steel set will produce 10% damage each of the brand like steel tempo each of them three will contribute to extra boost it's like I use steel for another 10% damage and for the weapons you have a like uh, 
the mastery weapon and the weapon level as you can see the progress is 300 and something and it contribute each time the weapon level up contribute to damage that you give to the enemy for each weapon that you use so here's my conclusion for Wolfenstein you young blood it's okay but it's a lot to improve much more I still love Wolfenstein for what it is but I still love Wolfenstein before this than this yeah, one no, I can't do this alone, it's much yeah. more fun if you're playing together for this game but if you play alone it's kind of be boring I guess I'm gonna give it out like 710 for the lack of for the lack of you know content in this game itself so peace out see you on the next video just thought you should know